Epic Geeden here, back again with another tutorial. This time I'm going to show you five must-know command block commands, uh, especially for game builders. Uh, this is really good stuff to know, and it's going to help you uh, move around the map quicker, get rid of your inventory quicker, switch your weather, switch your time, all of that. Uh, let me go ahead and get set up for that, and I'll be right back. All right, so here we go. So I just want to make a quick note that uh, if you're new to the video and you don't know uh, who I am, um, I'm building a game right now um, called Dreams of Darkness, and I make it tutorials basically when I do things in that game and when I'm building it, I make a little short tutorial of how I did that thing, how to do this. So that's what this video is basically about. Okay, so let's just jump into this. We're uh, Right here we have uh, three command blocks in front of us. They all do things that you're going to need like uh, teleport if you're making a map you're going to want to get around the map fast so you might want to put a teleport in different areas to take you different places so you may have a whole stack a whole row a whole sign of just different places in each area that you want to go which you can use a structure block to recreate those blocks again uh i'll get into that at a different time that's not for here but uh so you can teleport uh, all across the map whenever you want wherever you want um then you have your trash so this will basically empty out your inventory um that way you're you have nothing in your inventory all your armor whatever it's just, just going to be removed so you don't have to sit there and keep throwing it down or anything like that you could just walk right over click the button boom it's gone and then uh remove your effects uh this is going to take out all, all the effects that you have with all your potions and all that like the in the hot bar down there you got the size potion whatever you have uh because you're testing something out and you just want to get rid of it i mean you could uh technically have a bucket of milk if you wanted to but uh, sometimes your inventory is full and you don't have it, and it's really handy when you have a command block right there just to remove that, especially if it's in the area you're working with. And uh, But sometimes I still carry a bucket of milk around when I'm not next to uh, my main uh, build I'm doing. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, the teleport is very simple. As you can see, the command input right there, it says TP at P, but you can also put at S, because uh, uh, P is for the nearest player, S is for self. It doesn't matter. The reason I have P on there is because uh, when I was building this part of the game, uh, my son was uh, helping me out, so we could both teleport together really quick. Um, sort of what I just said, but different. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I, you just put it in there just like I did it, and the coordinates is, at the time is actually absolute zero on this uh, in this world. Uh, so it was zero, six is the height, of course, and then uh, zero again. So that was absolute zero. And you know, then on your right over here, we're clicking over there. It says teleport. You can change it, uh, the name of it, the block, whatever you want. That way, when you hover over it, this one says teleport. Um, and then don't worry about uh, where it says block type, condition, redstone. Don't worry about anything there. This is just for the default. In all five of these. Uh, command blocks I'm showing you are all going to work on default, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, we'll get into that as we get into the game. Right now, I'm only on episode six, so uh, that's much further ahead, and I'll make videos for that as well. Um, so, yes, that's the teleport command right there, and then you have trash, and the trash is not uh, backslash trash. It's backslash clear uh, at player, nearest player. You can put self again. I'm not going to keep saying that every time, but uh, uh, over here again, trash, ignore the rest. And that's basically it for that. Go over here to remove effect, and it's backslash uh, effect. You, again, I'm not going to say that. Uh, at P, clear. Uh, so it's effect, at P, clear. And that'll uh, remove your effects. Now, most of the commands and command blocks are not that hard, and most of them you can figure out by yourself. Um, so, uh, But these are the easiest ones. These are the ones I, I feel that you really need. So if I had a bunch of potions like so... You see all the effects are there, and I don't have a bucket of milk, and I'm just, I just want to do it quick. Boom, gone. Okay. Uh, same thing works for, let me just get rid of this because I want this back here in a second. So same thing goes for, if I want to remove trash, click that button, my inventory is empty. So that also uh, empties out any armor you have on, anything in your inventory the, will be gone. So be careful when you use that sometimes. Uh, make sure you don't have anything, like for instance, I just do this down to get rid of that stuff and then pick it back up. You can do stuff like that. Um, so that's going to do it for right here. So let's go around here. Um, if you're, if this looks familiar to you, this is the, the original version of Dreams of Darkness that we're rebuilding. Um, so I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to go back here. Uh, I'm going to grab this armor here and that armor right there is a leather dyed. And right now, as of right now, you can't 
put that into a command block. The command block won't give you that. It'll just give you leather. Um, but uh, in a later episode, once we start doing this hub in the, the new Dreams of Darkness game, we'll... Uh, we'll... Uh, what's, what's, what am I trying to say here? Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that when that comes. Okay, so we can go back over here. As you can see, I'm wearing that leather armor. And I have everything that I was supposed to have uh, that was on that uh, uh, display stand. Anyway, um, let's drop this again. And I have a trash over here. Like I said, I have this all over the place. Pick that back up. Like I said, armor's gone. Everything's gone. And then, you know, my uh, teleport back to hub. Um, so, okay. So over here, we're going to learn the uh, time uh, set time. Okay. So we want day, night. So if I want to view my world in the daytime, these are very handy. If I want to see what it looks like at night... It's very handy once again. I can see what it looks like at night. Um, so for this, for the day, it's very easy. It's backslash time, space, set, and then noon. You can fine tune this because you can see at the very bottom down here, it says set the time to 99660000. You can fine tune the time. Uh, I just find it easier because I just want day. So it's actually set at noon. Uh, same thing goes back for the, uh, the setting it for night. Uh, it's backslash time set midnight i put you can put night you can put you know morning um those commands work too but you can also fine tune that number um anyway but uh yeah the, the uh same thing on the left you know you could just put in the name uh for that and then uh ignore the rest for now and then if we head over here now the important one to have is weather uh like i want to see thunder i want to see clear uh examples uh, i put thunder because that covers rain as well plus it adds in the thunder or if you're in a snowy biome, of course, you're going to get snow. Um, just keep in mind that if you're in the desert, you're not going to get any rain at all. But, uh, yeah, that'll cover that. And then the other one's for clear. So this allows you to, to view your game, how you want to view it, what it's going to look like during different times, different weather, uh, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So, um, oh, I'm sorry. I almost didn't show it to you. Uh, so th this one is backslash weather. And then I put thunder. You can change that with rain if you want. Um, and then for the clear, it's uh, backslash weather clear, of course. And it's everything else I just said to the other ones applies on this one. Don't worry about the left-hand side there. So I'll just uh, do this real quick as an example. Remember to crouch when you put your button. And then we'll go in here and we'll put... Uh, we'll just put weather. And then this time I will put rain. So it's it's very, very simple. So now it says weather, rain, and I click that button, and voila, it begins to rain. It's easy as that. Uh, anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this one. If you like this video, please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, also, give this video a thumbs up. It really, really helps me out. Um, and please, I'm going to leave a link in the description below, and I will leave a thumbnail at the end of the video. It's coming right up. <laughs> um, check out... Uh, Dreams of Darkness a game as we're building it. It's very interactive. You can get involved in it and you can play in it if you want. Um, and you can help build it if you're a builder and you want to come out and just play around, goof around. I'm, I'll be happy to have you. Um, but at the same time, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy this video and I'll see you next video.